Jennifer Kramer was found not guilty by reason of insanity after the murder of Christopher Michael Gonzalez, a ruling his family doesn't agree with. On March 27, 2021, the body of 35-year-old Christopher Michael Gonzalez was found by County Road 306 in Blue, Texas. 44-year-old Jennifer Redden Kramer was charged for his murder. The two were roommates meeting in Austin. He was on the side of the road uh, trying to make money um, off of 290 and uh, Cameron Road in Austin. She approached him and offered him money and he asked if there was work he could do. There was supposed to be some sort of um, business venture um, and landscaping that he, she was helping him with. On the morning of March 27th, an argument broke out. I, I think that whatever they were arguing about, um, I think it was just my brother was done with the relationship, uh, business relationship, personal relationship, uh, whatever they had. I think that he was going to sever ties with her and she did not want that to happen. Later that night, the two were in the car and he fell asleep. Court documents say Kramer said she had already seen his death and she stabbed him with a machete and then dragged him out of the car. The report says there were 32 sharp force injuries. She told detectives she learned where to stab someone from the movie Pulp Fiction. I think that because of the evil that she is, that she should be behind bars so that she doesn't hurt another family like ours has been hurt. I do not believe that she was insane. I saw her in person. My daughter won't be able to have her father walk her down the aisle, be there to protect her like he should be. She took that away from us. After various hearings and psychiatric evaluations over the past three years, the judge ruled Tuesday she's not guilty by reason of insanity. Christopher's family wants people to remember him as a positive person who was taken too soon. That hurts me the most is to see what my dad's going through. And I just don't think that's right, that she can get out and have a normal life. And my brother's gone. It doesn't matter what we do, she, we're never going to get him back. I want the world to know that he was a good person, um, he was a good father, um, a good brother, a good son, and he tried his best to do what he could in the world to, to make it a better place. And Kramer will be evaluated for treatment at the North Texas State Hospital. In Giddings, Angela Shen, Fox 7 Austin News.